Okay, since the last video that was made, Game Freak has decided to torment me even more by creating a new Pokemon type and also tormented me even beyond that by creating it as a fairy type. So before we go over that, let's uh, go over some critiques and suggestions from the last video. Ice is super effective against grass. Yep, so am I. I think you're half right, but I don't think that's most of the reason as to why poison doesn't affect steel. Okay, there's three types of toxics here. First is hemotoxic, which applies to the heart and the cardiovascular system. Then there's neurotoxic, which applies to the brain and the nervous system. And then there's cytotoxic, which mostly affects the area of the bite. To note, this is mostly snake bite. So you know when you get like a can of beans, tin or aluminium, uh, and you open it up and it breaks the seal of uh, toxic or poison, whatever, going through the air? That is pretty much kind of a seal, and I'm sure that steel Pokemon would have that kind of seal, um, keeping the poison at bay. I'm sure that is very unscientific, coming from me, but I don't know, this is Pokemon. You know, logic isn't properly due, I'm overthinking some of these. Okay, this is one I majorly disagree with because, say you get normal versus steel, it's a matter of strength. You know, it's the same as getting a Pikachu against a Pelipper. The only reason electric is strong against water and flying is simply because of the heat generated from the sky of the lightning bolt, which is higher up. Um, there is a physicist guy that explained that one to me, sort of. But I'll explain that better in uh, all due time. But, yeah, it's kind of that thing. I mean, I understand Steel Swords being enchanted with the power, which fairy, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but steel on its own, no. No ordinary knight is gonna take down a dragon. Simple as that. Common fears. This guy, he has the idea. Maybe he might be onto something there, but I can't help but think that that might be a little bit too specific of a definition. Your body is like a seal, which prevents you from getting possessed by certain spirits unless you let them possess you. Which is why ghosts and spirits are more susceptible to tainted ghosts. Which is why you get like an insidious when they go into the spirit world, which is they're more susceptible to getting possessed. As much as I agree on the Japanese translation to dark, there are moves that indicate other uses of the dark type as well, like Night Slash for example. Okay, when it comes to fighting and flying, let me take you back to the Lord of the Rings where the Nazgul would pick up the soldiers and then just drop them from a very high path. Immobility, again, in the air. It's gonna happen. There's also the other thing, have you ever tried to punch a bird? Um, let's not get into that one. I'm joking! Yes, yes, I keep kicking myself after this one, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, there's two reasons as to why water resists ice. The first reason is that they're the same substance, essentially. And that, if you remember in the anime, which is, I'm probably gonna kick myself after quoting the anime, kind of video quoting, when Lapras froze the ice and then slid on it, even though Lapras is a water and ice type. Probably one of the reasons is when you're frozen, it freezes mostly the outer part of you, not the inner part. So when a Pokemon responds to, hey, use Hydro Pump, boom, DPI of like 5,000 breaking all the way through by a Blastoise. <laughs> well done. And also maybe the uh, water inside the Pokemon can pretty much thaw the ice, because water can do that if you've run an ice cube under a tap. All right, almost every single Pokemon is made up of some fluids like human beings, and water just helps poison spread like it contaminates. It's kind of like the base line of it, like kind of like muddy water was a move for water types. Okay, okay, I, um, uh, look over there! No, I actually meant tainted, sort of, you know, twisted, tainted. Ghosts can do that to other ghosts. They are all without a shell. Yeah, I agree with you there. The anime can be a pile of shit when he wants to be. You know when Dark uh, is up to his dirty tricks and stuff like that? Basically, it can't really do that when there's a swarm of bugs going up against it. Like, for example, the end of the Mummy film. Take that. So when a normal type or a fighting type will be justified and everything like that, 
A bug type and a dark type will not see eye to eye. Or eyes, depending on how many eyes the spider has. Well, spider is a bug type in the world of Pokemon. I, I kind of see where you're coming from. Although it doesn't really um, cover why Ghost is not very effective against Dark. It's pretty much like, hey, can I possess you? No, piss off! That actually kind of reminds me of Purgatory, when you don't pray for people to move on and stuff like that. They kind of stay in the living world. So that would be a Dark type. Hey, let me be. Okay. Based on how electric is strong against water, indicates that water types do not have pure water inside of them. So maybe you should take your own advice. Yeah, basically what I was saying earlier. I mean, you can pin it down and punch it, but wouldn't really recommend it. Unless you're a dark fighting type. Right, all that covered up. Time for fairies. There's already been talk about fairies getting ill from coming into contact with certain metals like iron, so that's the story there. Sunshine, moonlight, boogie. Fire reduces fairy dust to ash. There's no such thing as fairies. Also indicates the uh, poison apple from Snow White. Fairies such as Tinkerbell represent light. Light can overshadow darkness, but darkness can't really overshadow light. You'd have to turn the light off for there to be darkness. How did King Arthur have the power to take down that dragon? He was enchanted with a sword. How was Alice able to take down the Jabberwocky? Fairies enchanted it. Fairies have the enchantment power to take down a dragon. And therefore, dragons cannot do shit to a fairy because of that. So I'm sorry that bit of the video was pretty uh, short compared to the responding, but you know, it's just a little bit extra that Pokemon has thrown into the mix. So hopefully there will no, not be any other videos like this because moving on to bigger and better things. So I've made many videos on this channel. Um, hope to make more It's just things and things, getting back into uh, gear with things and writing and things like that. So. Let's not ramble on with that. So, hopefully, there'll be more videos. So thank you for watching. Be sure to follow my um, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter, and subscribe to my uh, KB Maddows channel, and also my vocal cover channel, and lights out. I'm probably gonna regret this, but oh well. Oh, I'm trying to echo, okay, I'm not gonna regret it that much.